Hey everyone, Caleb here from HG Munitions. Today we're making another video about the Dillon 1050 1100 press. We're going to talk about what can cause the machine to jam on the upstroke or downstroke due to just a mechanical jam, hard jams. Sometimes it's due to how the machine is set up, it's due to operator error, uh, it's just due to the machine getting dirty. So we're going to talk about some of those occurrences and what's going on when those happen. So the main thing to focus on is the tool head. The tool head is what activates all the sub-assemblies on this machine to move and the moving parts to do what they're supposed to. Alright, so we're going to look at the tool head here and go through what it does. So you've got a shell cam here at the back. This one doesn't have a cam on it actually right now. We can look at this one. It's pretty simple. It just comes down, grabs your plunger here, and is going to move the case plunger back to pick up a new case. Not a whole lot that goes on there. You do want to keep it greased. There can be some jams in there due to grit and dirt. And then other than that, the only time you get a jam is if you just get a case that doesn't go on the shell plate just right and it'll get sideways and it'll jam up right here as it comes as the plunger comes back or forward, just depends on when the case got out of alignment. Alright, so moving on. That we've got the shell plate alignment pin, that is your long pin in the back. Next we have the primer pin, which is how you set your primer seating depth. It's just an Allen screw that's threaded in there, it's adjustable. And then you have a short alignment pin that ensures the primer slide is fully forward when the primer is being seated. Then of course you've got your guide rod for your spring that assists the tool head to return to its upward position. And then you have your primer, I call it a stud, but it's just a little threaded screw here that activates your priming arm. Okay. So let's talk about how this looks on the machine, how it translates over. So we're going to start with the shell plate alignment pin, which travels through this bushing here. As it comes down, it is going to grab the shell plate in these holes right here. And what that does is, for some reason, if your index is not set perfectly, say the shell plate stops short, that pin comes down, and it will force the shell plate to its centered position so that all your stations are centered with your dies. That's all that pin does. It also prevents the machine from continuing the stroke if the shell plate is not aligned, which can cause a broken swage rod. So say you it, it was over-traveled or under-traveled so much that it's not going to get anywhere close to the hole to, to pull the shell plate. It's going to hard jam crash on the shell plate right here, which is a good thing because right now your shell, your, uh, shell plate is covering your swage rod tip. And that tip is hardened, and it's going to win pretty much every time over your shelf plate. So, if, especially if you had it like right here, and that swage tip is going to come up, and it's going to chip this shelf plate off, and you've just completely trashed a $100 shelf plate. So that pin also has that function. It's kind of like a safety net. All right, we're going to take this back off. Moving on to the primer punch, primer pin. It comes down and hits this spring loader plunger here which is going to raise your primer punch and seat the new primer. You can see me here as I actuate it. And a quick note on that, there is a set screw in here down in the platform, which preloads the primer rocker assembly. So the rocker that actually pivots is down here on the side behind the swage rod. That preloads it to set where that primer punch is at rest. I think it's just a machine tolerance feature. Uh, there's not really an adjustability reason to be moving that once you have it set per the manual which i believe is flush or just below flush you don't really ever touch that again so that's just a quick note all right moving on you've got the primer alignment pin the short pin at the back and it is to ensure that your primer slide is all the way forward and that will make sure the new primer is centered over the primer punch and ready to be inserted in the case and it will function the same way as the shell plate does if it's a little bit off it'll grab it and pull it forward and that's usually just due to debris getting in this channel, just the press getting dirty, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, now it can hard jam also, just like the shell plate. If this thing is so far off that the pin's not gonna catch that cutout, it'll hit right here. You can see where this one's been hit a few times and it'll hard jam the machine. All right, another jam that can occur because of the primer punch is say it didn't make it all the way forward, or didn't make it all the way back, any point that this primer punch is covered, you can see it'll push up. If the whole assembly was on here, it would 
jam that cam upward and that would hard jam the machine. So that can also be a hard jam. Usually the way you can tell that is it's right at the bottom of the stroke. Right when the tool head's almost all the way down, it'll just have a real hard stop. And that's usually what's occurring is your punch is hitting your primer cam because it did not travel like it was supposed to. And that can happen due to several things. Primer's getting squished in here and debris jamming it up or primer sideways and crushed in there. Different things. All right. So that's something to watch for. Now let's talk about the tool head as it travels upward. Get this out of the way. So the tool head, as it travels upward, there's only a couple things that can jam. We're gonna look at one in a minute on a completed press. But for now, we're gonna talk about the index arm. It's very critical, okay? So tool head is down. Index paw, which is spring-loaded, is in the full rearward position. At that point, it has captured, I'm gonna grab a shell plate again here. It is captured into one of these slots, these circular slots. So it's resting inside of the slot like that, okay? As the machine brings the tool head back up, the linkage, which has the roller on it, that roller begins to hit that arm and force it forward so that it will rotate the shell plate. Now the problem with this that you may run into with setting the machine up is that there is no hard stop for the shell plate. So if you allow this paw to travel too far forward or too fast, and it depends on how fast you run the machine on how you set it also, your shell plate will over index and have alignment issues. So because of that, there is a over travel screw or you uh, index paw stop screw. On the 1100, it's back here on the linkage itself. It stops the whole linkage. On the Dillon 1050, Dillon put the set screw, stop, stop screw, right inside this slot. And it's actually still here on the 1100, the, the port for it. It's right through here. You adjust it with your Allen key. And it stops this paw from traveling too far forward. It can also stop it from traveling a full travel. If you have the screw too far in, it won't fully index the shell plate. So you need to make sure you get it right in that zone that works for you. All right. And after that, you should be pretty much set. You know, just make sure that you have your index ball and your spring in there. That kind of helps stop the, the plate, but not entirely. It's just to hold it in place while the tool head comes down and interacts with the casings. So back to the priming issue uh, that can happen when the tool head's going back up. Your primer stud here can get trapped underneath this mechanism. And that's usually due to the primer slide not making its full travel and it will hold this back let me pull the press down here this will be held back like so and as the press travels up this stud will hit and i may be able to kind of replicate it like that right there so it's keeping it from going up right now so you have to release the pressure clear that and then allow it to travel upward again so that's really the only two things that can cause a jam with the tool head coming back up it's just the index paw uh, not having enough index and the primer stud anyways i hope that was helpful for you guys if you have any questions let me know thanks